Uh, this game is called La Mulana, and it's a game that they originally made when they were uh, back when they were amateurs, and um, it kind of took off and got really popular. And it was then released on uh, on WiiWare and the PC. So it's a uh, it's kind of like Castlevania or Metroid, where you um, you uh, adventure around, uh, I guess, dungeon type areas, and uh, solve puzzles and riddles, and uh, pick up different items to help you along the way. So it's, yeah, basically, it's a Castlevania Metroid based. Uh, yeah. So there's also a lot of adventure elements in it too. Like for example, um, uh, there's different puzzles and stuff to solve, and like mysteries uh, to unravel, I guess. And if you can't uh, if you if you can't understand the meaning of the puzzle and like solve it, then you won't be able to find any uh, any items or anything else. So it's got a whole bunch of different adventure type elements in it as well. As an action game, uh, if you play it without really knowing anything about you know puzzles or uh, solving puzzles in games like this, uh, you said for the average player it takes about 40 hours to clear the game. Do you have any advice for any um, uh, any developers who, who want to put their game on, on Steam Greenlight? So, um, in Japan, uh, kind of different from overseas, there's not a real concrete community of uh, players and fans of indie games. And so um, just uh, taking a, a Japanese indie game, putting it up on Steam, uh, putting it up on Greenlight, isn't really going to get enough uh, votes from Japanese players to get it uh, to get it passed. And so. He said it's uh, probably best for Japanese indie developers to do what they did, which is come to someone like Playism and have them uh, kind of create and uh, maintain a community based around the games and use that popularity to get it up on uh, Greenlight and then to get it greenlit.